Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela. And here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content. I also create similar content on my website, angelamichelle.com. So I would love it if you head over there and take a look at the website. Now, as you can see by the title, it's all about Amazon again today. I love these Amazon videos. You all seem to love these Amazon videos. So I was walking around the house thinking, you know what? I use a lot of Amazon stuff and I wonder what, what, what did I use that I haven't talked about? Let me see what I use and what I use a lot. And I actually saw 10 items that I consistently use and I'm loving one of them. Uh, well, one, a couple of them are new. I'll tell you which ones those are. Um, but if you'd like to see what those 10 items are, then stay tuned. Now let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start in the kitchen and there are three items in the kitchen. And the first one is a water kettle. You all probably saw Ben making my coffee and using the water kettle probably on several occasions, but we use this, or let me just say, he uses it every single day when he's at home, when he's not here. I love to make um, ginger mint tea or different teas, but we use that water kettle every single day. And I didn't know what I was missing until I started using it when we moved to Saudi. We have a lot of friends that are from the UK and they drink hot tea or they just say tea. You know, when I'm from the South. When we say tea, we mean sweet with ice. When they're from the UK, they mean hot in the cup. So they drink a lot of tea and everybody had a water kettle. And I was like, what is this all about? Cause you know, I'm so used to putting a little pot on the stove and boiling the water if I need some hot water, but that water kettle is everything. It heats up in about 15 seconds, 30 seconds max. You have hot water to make your coffee, your tea, whatever you're gonna use hot water for, it is perfect. I love it. We're never gonna be without another one. So the first item is a water kettle. And the night, <laughs> the next items are straws. Now I drink everything with a straw except for a glass of wine. Um, and if I can put an ice cube or something in it, I would drink that with a straw as well. And as you know, we're trying to be consumer friendly. We're trying to be friendly to the earth and not use all these straws anymore. And I just have gotten used to drinking the straw. I, and I think that's one of the things that helped my teeth stay white. I even drink my coffee with a straw. So anyway, I have two sets of straws. I have these straws, which I think are really, really nice. And they have a little bump on the end of them. I think these are made for cups. They have the lids on them so you can't pull the straw all the way out. And I wanted to get these in different colors in case several of us are in the house drinking and we, um, we so we'll know which cup is ours because the straws are different color. And these are metal straws. I love metal straws. And this particular pack came with, I think 20 straws and five to 10 little straw cleaners, which I like as well. And also they came with rubber tips. So you put the different rubber tips on the straw because uh, we don't want to chip our front tooth with that metal straw. So they do have metal straws on Amazon that don't have the rubber tips, but I'm not getting those because I'm so afraid that I'm going to be doing something and not paying attention and hit my tooth on that metal straw and it's going to chip and I'm going to have a heart attack. So I love these metal straws. They're really easy to clean. And once you get the tip on them, they don't slide off and they're really, really nice. So you get 20 in the pack, you get the cleaners. I think these come 10 in the pack with cleaners as well, but I use these every day. I use them with my coffee. I use them with my water and anything else. And I'm going to drink throughout the day. So these are my second item on the list. So the next item on the list is in the kitchen as well. And it is these plastic cutting boards. Now I love these. Y'all know if you watch me, I'm a germaphobe and they come in various colors. Look at this. And they're really nice. They have grippers on the bottom so they don't slide across the counter or wherever you put them. But I bought these, not these particular ones. I'm just going to, these are new because I wanted y'all to see what they look like brand new and I love them. But here, a couple of the ones that are actually mine that we've had since August. So you can see that we use these a lot. And I mean a lot. And I like the fact that you can wash these. And, what I, and I'm really picky about my food. So 
We have a really, really nice cutting board, but I don't like to cut my fruit and my veggies. And then you have fish or you have raw meat or chicken on the same cutting board as I cut everything else. So I like these, if I'm cutting an apple, I'll take one of these cutting boards out and I put it on top of the cutting board and I cut my apple up. And like if I'm cutting an onion, I'll, I'll use that cutting board or I'll use another cutting board, but I don't, want, I don't like the transfer of flavors, like even just from an onion to an apple. So if you cut, an, onion on a cutting board and then you go behind and you cut the apple on top of it you get a little tinge of that onion flavor on your apple and it is not good so i love these for that but we cut we cut everything on these and they're just really easy to clean you just use them cut whatever you're going to cut on them throw them in the washer you can throw them in the dishwasher and and they're done and you don't have to worry about really messing up your cutting board i don't mean like i don't mean like tearing your cutting board up, but like getting raw fish or getting raw chicken juice into your cutting board. Just get these and like we've had these for six months. I imagine they'll probably last a year or so. And then cut your veggies or your or fruit or your veggies or your meat up and you're good to go. And these actually have like this is for beef and this is for cheese and chicken and veggies and fruit, fish. What is this? Now I know what that is. Probably pork. Probably pork. It looks like a ham. Probably pork. But it um, has different animals or whatever you're going to use in the bottom of the cutting board for. So I think that's really nice. But I love these flexible, easy to clean cutting boards. So the next two items are new purchases, but I'm liking them already. And the first one is this fan. I'll open it up so you can see what it looks like. Now, if you're having hot flashes or if you need a fan to, to uh, dry up your makeup or drop your setting spray or your um, the glue for your eyelashes, this is perfect. So it has two speeds. Turn it on. Look at that. Can y'all hear it? Oh, and it uses a charge and it uses a charger and you can just drop. Just perfect. Small, convenient, you can charge it with your, um, I, I use my iPad charger. Turn it off, these are plastic. And you can just fold it up, pop it right in your purse. I use this as my uh, on my makeup stand to dry my setting, my setting spray so it dries real fast, so it sets my makeup so it doesn't move. But I'm loving this. And the next item is this hook and eye and snap kit, I think every woman should have this and they're easy so all you need is some needle and some thread and these this is for like you know if you buy a dress or you see a dress and i really really like that dress but the dress is just cut too deep a v in the front this has hook and eye and it also has snaps oh, i don't want to hold it because i want it to spill so it looks like and it has it in silver and it has it in black so if you have something that's just too big or Look at production, tell me to tilt it. It's gonna fall, honey. That's it, that's good. Okay. If you have a dress that has suit, <laughs> if you have a dress that has too deep of a V in the front and you don't wanna put those safety pins in the front, this is perfect. You can just sew your hook and eye on it and then put that together. Or if you want something more sturdy, you can do a snap. The snaps have holes around the edges so you can sew those onto the fabric as well. Or if you've lost one on a pair of pants or you know sometimes you have the pants that have the extra piece of fabric that goes over and it snaps on the side, you can put that. Or if you don't have it and you want it for security, you can put that in there too. So I think this is a great, great thing to have in your wardrobe just in case you just never know in those circumstances where you would use a safety pin where now you don't have to use a safety pin. You can actually put something in there that's gonna look professional and look like it's made with the garment. So the next item, if you're petite like me, or if you have skinny ankles like me, you need this. And it is the hole puncher. Now, I've been using a hole puncher to put extra holes in my shoes and my purses for quite some time now. But I had to get a new one because our old one got lost when we moved. And this is what it looks like. So it has um, various um, hole sizes in it. So you can have tiny holes or bigger holes. It also has this, um, I don't know what you call this little thing. Like a little hole file. Little hole file. So when you put punch the hole, you know how sometimes you punch the hole and it's real, still real little. You just kind of put this in there and twirl it around and it just gets all the excess leather out of the hole. And 
I love it. I use it for all my shoes because most of the time the straps on my shoes are always, always too long. And so my husband always puts extra holes in my strap for me. So recently we were out at the thrift store and look what I found. First of all, I'm gonna show you what the price tag says. $25. Now, my husband said, why are you buying that pocketbook? <laughs> I said, <laughs> First of all, it's $25. Second of all, it's a Dooney and Burke. I don't know who gave this pocketbook to the thrift store. I, I just don't know, because this pocketbook is going to outlast me. The leather is perfect. It looks absolutely perfect. Just needs a little cleaning on the inside, but it's perfect. But I'm going to show you what we're going to use that hole puncher for. So now I'm five, three and a half, and this strap is not meant for me. Look at this. Look how long it is. Comes all the way down mid fat. Now I'm going to get my husband to put an extra few holes in it so that it sits here. If you're petite, the purse straps are not made for us. And so I need to be up a lot higher. And most of the time when you get a purse like this, this strap, even if you put it on the last hole, it's still too long. So I will use that for this purse and I use it for a lot of my shoes. Y'all know I do a lot of shoe shopping. And if I get heels with straps, the, the straps are almost always too big. So I always put extra holes in the straps. I put them on when I get them. If they're suede, I'll spray them with the protectant. And then I get my husband to go ahead and measure them and put extra holes around the ankle. So that is an essential for someone like me who does a lot of shopping and who wants their shoes and their purses to fit at the appropriate height. The next item on the list is my cloak. <coughs> <laughs> laugh at this catching. You just wait before yeah, right, you go to bed. Right, no, you are no, I'm not. I'm half dead and you laughing. You need CPR room? Mm -mm. You ain't took no CPR class. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Crap my ribs. So the next item on the list is my clothes rack. And you all have probably seen that a hundred times when I'm doing my haul videos and there are clothes just hanging on the side. That is the rack that I use. It's the same one I had in Saudi, except for I sold that one. But I love the rack. I love the look of it. It's the perfect height. It's the perfect weight. It's the perfect width. And I can hang lots of clothes on it. I like the fact that it's portable. So we just roll it around wherever we need it. If Even if I wasn't doing YouTube videos and I had needed some extra space and wanted to have a rack that moved with me when I could stand in front of the mirror and just hang clothes on, I love this rack. And I use it all the time, of course, because I am a beauty and fashion YouTuber. But I love this clothes rack. If you're in... If you're looking for something like this, this is a perfect one. The next item on the list is my desk lamp. I forgot all about that. You know what? I use it every single night, but I forgot all about it because it's sitting back in the back of my desk and it's not right there in my face. But I love the fact that I can just tap it and the light gets brighter and brighter and then it turns off. It's easy. I don't think about it. I forgot I even had it because I use it so much. I actually bought it for my grandson when he comes to spend the night because he didn't, he didn't like for the room to be pitch black. So I could tap it and just be, have a low, soft light, but I did not got him another light in his bedroom so I put it on my desk and it's perfect it's slim it actually folds completely down when I don't want to use it or if I don't want to use it and have it sitting up on my desk but I love this light the next item on the list is this robe and it is so pretty and I have it in pink I do have it in white but I'm gonna show you what I have it in pink I saw this on another youtuber and I thought it was so pretty and she had it on at the beginning of her video and I was like let me go I clicked on the link and I purchased the robe and I'm loving it it looks like it's a satin or a silk robe but it's not but it's really really pretty and it's nice and lightweight so it's not heavy it's definitely a spring and summer robe but the color is just absolutely beautiful and I am loving it and last but not least is this makeup mirror that I didn't even think about until one of you asked me about the mirror that's on my mirror. And this mirror sticks on my bathroom mirror on my side. It's what I use if I'm putting on some makeup or putting some product around my eyes or looking around my eyes or looking at my skin. And sometimes I'll use it when I'm putting on eyeliner, but it has a mirror on the back of it and it's a magnified mirror and it sticks all the way out. So I'm not having to stick my face all the way in to look at it. It's right there. And I forget about it because I'm so used to it being there and I just use it all the time when I'm look I'm just I'm always looking at my face I'm always looking at my face but I like the fact that it has a light on the back of it so the magnification and additional light is there whenever I need to use it well that's it family I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you want me to do more Amazon videos I have no problem doing those because I get Amazon boxes at least once or twice a week 
Don't forget all the items that I've discussed are in the description box below. But if you're having trouble finding the description box, you can go to my website, AngelaMichelle.com. Click on the Amazon videos. Not, I'm sorry, not Amazon videos. Click on the YouTube videos and you'll see the thumbnail. Click on that and you'll see all the Amazon items and you just click on the picture of the item. It'll take you directly to that page on Amazon. Now, don't forget, wherever you are in this world, I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.